Hello everyone and welcome to another video. If you have played Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 for more than a few hours, you will almost certainly have seen your benches and your bins being completely and utterly destroyed. This might have left you wondering, who on earth would do such a terrible thing? Well, today we're going to learn all about the most angry peeps in the game, Vandals. Guests can have a variety of moods, ranging from happy, to sad, to tired, but no mood is as destructive as the one that gives them the bright red face, the rage mood. When guests are in a rage, they get so angry that they take it out on their environment, karate chopping benches in half and completely mangling bins and lamp posts. First, let's talk about what can actually cause a guest to become a vandal. This is luckily quite simple, as the sole cause is dirty pots. If a guest sees too much litter and or vomit on the ground, there is a chance that they get enraged and become a vandal. Once they have become a vandal, they will get a red face and they will start to break your path ornaments. Imagine that. You see some dirty path and suddenly you become so angry that you completely lose your self control and actually start breaking stuff around you. At least we can be happy that it's just material things and not other peeps, especially since RCT peeps are strong enough to break benches in half and bend metal lamp posts. There are a few extra conditions to whether a vandal will break a certain path ornament or not. First, they need to be below 85% happiness and above 48% energy. This usually isn't really a problem since when they're happy or tired enough they will pretty quickly stop being a vandal and turn into a happy or tired guest instead. There is also some randomness to it, as vandals won't immediately break everything they encounter. Just like vandals do not attack guests, they are also still considerate enough to not break benches that currently have guests sitting on them. Once benches are broken, they are completely unusable and the same goes for trash bins. I would say that lamp posts also become unusable when broken, but they never did anything in the first place. The fourth kind of path ornament, the jumping fountain, cannot be broken by vandals. If there is nothing near a vandal to break, either because there are no path ornaments or because every path ornament is already broken or is unbreakable, they will slowly stop being a vandal. In fact, if there are no breakable path ornaments near the guests, they won't even become vandals in the first place. This means that there are two ways to prevent vandals. Either you don't place any bins, benches and lamp posts, or you do the more sensible thing and you keep your paths clean by hiring enough handymen and placing down enough benches and bins. Lastly, a vandal will not break anything if there is a security guard close enough by. I'm not exactly sure what the threshold for close enough is, but the code says that it has to be below 224 in both the X and Y direction. And I imagine that might be the number of pixels. It's a bit difficult to count the number of pixels, as the game is isometric and the tiles aren't squares and even change shape when you rotate the screen, but I imagine a tile might be 32 pixels across, which would make this a distance of 7 tiles, which seems reasonable to me. So, in conclusion, you can stop all vandalism by just keeping your paths clean. And we can count ourselves lucky that vandals don't take out their anger on their fellow guests. If you liked this video, you can give it a like or leave a comment. You can also subscribe or follow me on Twitch. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.